Grab the shirt, man. program and like Mr. Jeffrey said this is kind of like my baby uh, what I brought to service now to give back to the community so for me it's a blessing to be here to engage with the students um, and the students that I worked with this past uh, year were absolutely incredible we had so much fun again you can talk to this young man or Kanaya back here in the back who was with me for I think about six months almost <laughs> through the program and also through the internship, um, try to make it fun, make sure they actually um, put tech to use. So Kanaya was one of the people who, during her summer internship, she actually built a, a functional application. Um, and she got to present that to the ServiceNow team and all the leadership and things like that. So um, again, it's one of the things that I'm most proud of. Um, yes, we will be doing it again next year. <laughs> that will start at the beginning of the year. We'll start um, looking for more juniors and seniors to work with us again and get that going. So I hope to see you all a little bit next year. Early next year. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. First year they started with 10 kids, excuse me, 10 kids in Orlando. But I was kind of free agent then, but she found out <laughs> Mrs. Jeffrey will be able to do this thing in the air time. So she way on the other side of the window. So she doubled and said, oh, if Mrs. Jeffrey's doing it, we can run it with, with 20. But I said, yeah, they got to come here. They just can't sit on the computer. So it was mandatory. They came and met twice a week. So maybe we might go to 30. Maybe we might go to 40. We might do some in January, some later on in the spring. So give it up for Miss Kathy. She got the class. This is the guy that wrote the book, Chris Rogers. He wrote this book. He couldn't hardly read. He got a book. Mr. Jeffrey ain't got a book. He made that a book. And it's good. So if you're working with you, please, please, please order this book. I don't give out a lot of compliments, so it got to be great for me to even say that. I ain't just clapping because, you know, I talk cash trash. I ain't going to give it up. But this is a great, lot of great activities. It's talking with everything from financial literacy to sports, how to choose a, a, a college. If you're an athlete, all of that kind of stuff. So it's an amazing book. Um, positive identity, critical thinking, decision making, U.S. government and civics, college readiness, career preparedness, and also introductory um, introduction to entrepreneurship. It also has pre-tests, post-tests, so you can get those measurable objectives for those grants and all of that. But I'll let him talk because he can talk more than Mr. Jeffrey. Go ahead, sir. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Uh in case y'all know me, I, I've been assisting Ms. Daphne on her program. I'm uh, Chris Rogers. I think the day for me is kind of dope because I'm not just somebody who's corporate, right? I was who got a Jeffrey said, I did not know how to reach out to that in that grade, but through hard work, 
taking a chance on me. And like I say, when I'm in when this Jeff Bruce in Lake Ridge, I don't know about the new house they got over there, but the real Lake Ridge. We used to go there all the time and um, skate world. I don't think they still got skate world. Yeah, they still got oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they got Yeah, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so that was me. So, I do, and now I live in California, I live in LA. Um, so, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, one thing to talk about, another thing to come back to, to your career, Miss Jeffrey. Okay, in the middle. Money in the middle. Money in the middle. That's for y'all time. Make sure y'all use the turbo flash so y'all can get me in there. I'm dog. This is a good flash. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to say. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, if anything, I just want you guys to know, you don't necessarily got to mix it in the field and NBA. To come back, give back to the community. You can't use your brain. I work in tech, technology. So we're a software company in California, but 25 bands into the program. What does Jeff going for you guys? So, yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the hard work. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and like I said, Mr. Jeff is like an unsung hero. You know, he talked trash. You know, he, he, he heard everybody feelings, but that's part of it. You know, because you need that when you go to college. And you need that like as you go on the job. So just doing some tough love. We're going to make you better, so uh, this is what he's saying. We've got 25 bands, baby. 25. So, you know, we got to put in the work, and it's just like money, bring in more money. So, um, so yeah, we got to get some people, and we got to need some of y'all volunteers. Y'all work at companies, y'all workplaces. Don't ask them. Y'all give that money to United Way every year. How much what, do you know where that go? But you can see your money in action. Every nickel, dime, penny, quarter that you donate to Mr. Jeffrey, you're gonna see it go to go to work. So Mr. Jeffrey don't need your money to make it happen. I'm the ultimate hustler. I'm always getting me me. So I don't need need your money. So we thank Chris. Here, um, so he's looking to kind of expose our program so we can we can get a hundred thousand dollar check yeah. from Service Now. So just like she doubled it up. He's going to look to double it up to get fit to say that Mr. Jeffrey, he's doing some incredible, amazing things, even with service now, because you got to think, we ran 20 kids. That was some some work. We had like 90-some percent um, as far as the attendance, you know, and they were going from 6 to 8.30, Tuesday and Thursday night. Some of them coming from football practice. Some of them got up 4 a.m. in the morning. So they don't been up where they're getting minimal sleep, but they were committed and dedicated. But just like Chris, Say, I'm tough on you, but if you can survive me, you're bound for success. You know, life ain't easy. And then the elders, they went out of their way to make it tough on us. You know, our grandma and, and mamas and all that. But the new generation, they don't got soft. So we used to be black and strong, but now a lot of us just black and mild. <laughs> we, we, we even smoke that, black and mild. But we need to get back to getting strong again, folks. And uh, we want you to just... Um, Hang on in with the wrist club. Stay committed. We're going to go to another height this year with the help of the Lord. So stay connected to the program because it's going to be limited as far as the capacity. Before you can kind of come, go as you want it, but those numbers are going to be locked in. So this is going to be like our first night signing up and probably going to be our last night signing up. So if you're here, great. Make sure you get your application turned in. I'm not going to babysit you any longer. You got questions. Um, the applications are available. We got the notary. We got Miss Lynn. That raise your hand. That's my agent. That's Double O Negro I used to work with. I call her Double O. So like when I go out and speak on national speaking engagements, all that, she set up all the paperwork. Um, she has a son that's a product of the program. He was with me in 94 in New Jerusalem. I used to do programs there for five years. Um, we came to get summer camp. The other son came with me to the team business camp. He's like a new
Yeah, we're gonna get some of y'all with these service now shirts. Y'all gonna come with the photo op. Yeah. And, then, uh, and we got one more. We need got one more person. We got a medium shirt. So if you want to get in, we got a shirt. Is it a yes. Yeah. Oh, now you changed your mind. It's even twenty five. <laughs> How many days does it take one man to dig a half a hole? Is that FSA trick man for you? Is that, is that mind bending? Mind bending. Mind bending. Here go the man. He, he know that money. What's up? It take a half a day? How many holes was it? Oh, one. Well, hell yeah. Let me just give you the 20. There it is. <laughs> That's correct. That is incorrect, folks. We got the young man, the kid, the boys are smart, the little ones is the ones that's smart. We gotta go with you and we'll come to this young lady. Yes, sir? Half a, oh, eh, sorry. You got it, ma'am? Eh, wrong. So we got, got some old timers here. So they like social security, they've been with the program too long. They know all the answers but I'm not gonna penalize them for that. You can't dig half a hole. Why not? Because when you dig a hole, it's just gonna be a hole. Oh, a hole, okay, so a hole is a hole. So the answer is, there's no such thing as a half a hole. If I'm walking down the street, why they dug a half a hole out here? A hole is a hole, boys and girls. So let's see. <laughs> so this is like school, keep your eyes on your own paper, because if you're looking at somebody else, maybe you're cheating. You want it, that's just correct. You're very good. You ain't got to let nobody else see it. <laughs> good job. All right, give it up for you. Don't be a give it up. Yolks are yellow. Give it up. Don't get Good job. I need a little more energy, enthusiasm, and effort in that. So let's try that again. My name is the Jeffrey. <laughs> Rising. 
and then you move side to side, move side to side, what? Move side to side, move side to side, what? Now we do have some accelerated listeners and learners in the house tonight, so we're gonna speed it up for all of our accelerated listeners and learners. He works at the Dream Center in Lakeland, empowering you through education. Our Bill Murphy introduces us to today's everyday hero. We met Jeffrey Williams at the Dream Center in Lakeland, working with the youth of Polk County, something he's dedicated himself to for almost 30 years. I grew up down the road from where we're at currently right now. This is a, a drug-ridden, always was a drug-ridden area, high-crime area but I grew up in a place called the Dakota Project. He received a degree from Florida A&M University in 1993. I started working with the young people and God put me on a whole other mission. So what I've been basically doing is just empowering you to expose them education. And they're keeping their skills sharp. His summer camp has two groups, kindergarten through the fifth grade, which is Risk Kids Camp, and the Teen Business Camp, which is the middle schoolers in the high school. The days are busy and productive. This morning, we read from seven to nine. We feed them breakfast. Nine to 10, we do a daily devotion. 10 to 12, we do academic enrichment. Then comes lunch, and yes, Jeffrey is there as well. And every afternoon, a speciality. Jeffrey is also involved in field trips that are taken to various businesses and college tours, like this one to Florida State, as students learn job, life, and budget skills. There are a great many success stories of young people who have gone on from this program. A man of deep faith, his love and concern for these young people is not just about for today, but for the many, many tomorrows to come. He calls this his ministry. Who do you think you know we represent? Jeffrey, who also drives the bus, is also student success coach and college and career coordinator at Lakeland's Kathleen High School. He says he does once in a while find time to sleep. Not so sure about that. It's energizing, just working with these young people is a drug, because if I don't do it, who will? Slow it down. With an Everyday Heroes report, I know Murphy. All right. Clap it up, clap it up. Most of my friends, they sold drugs, and I didn't want to go to nobody jail, so I said, hey, I'll go to college. So I'm a product of a program, something called Upper Back Bound. So I participated that over in um, Tampa, which stayed six weeks in the summer, AC, Roach Free, and it's an incredibly awesome program. They said, hey, good one. Um, most people in my neighborhood, they went to the military, got out, and then came back to park for the same job that the high school was for, and all that. But I wanted to do something different, so I went off to college. I did an internship in that field at Great Memorial in Atlanta. It was great. I had my own office. It had a shower in there, restroom, all that. When the underground was safe back then, I could walk down there for lunch and just hang out. So it was a, a blessing. But I started subbing, and then I started running summer programs at New Jerusalem. And about 28 plus years later, I'm still doing this. So I tell kids all the time, when you're doing God's will and what he wants you to do, you don't have to chase out the money or opportunity. They'll chase after you. So November 3rd, if the Lord let me see it, I'll be 53 years old. So um, it's a blessing to be able to work in the community as long. And I got a lot of success stories that's here. If you are in the program at some point in time that, and you're a graduate, you're, you're off and you're gone and gone, gone, stand up. I know we got at least one. We got one young lady. Give it up for her. <laughs> and, and we got another young man that you'll meet later on tonight. I'll just tell you, he got a million things going on, but he wrote a book. A guy named Chris Rogers, he used to work at Old Brothers Barbecue to barely read in the eighth grade. So he, he went to Lakeland one year, played football. He was a little short fella, but he could bring that boom stick. So he was number 33. He could bring that boom. He, you know, he could bring that boom shea out there. I taught him a few things and techniques. And, but he left there because he wasn't getting what he needed and he knew he wasn't gonna start. Um, the next year went out to Evangel, which is now Victory, um, ended up with a scholarship going to University of Alabama. Not only did he graduate, 
and get his bachelor's. He got his master's degree. Um, he didn't go and get no burn to the NFL. He wanted to, just like a lot of other people, but he also had another plan for life outside of athletics. So he ended up uh, working for Under Armour. So a couple of young boys went to this um, University of Alabama side again. Julio Jones and Mark Ingram first signed. And they looked and said, wow, they were at Under Armour. He signed them in his own way. So um, he has a nonprofit that he runs happily. He's doing some phenomenal things. And you'll meet him here in probably about the next 15, 20 minutes. He's going to do a major presentation for our group. Um, so that's that's something exciting. But like I say, he got his master's degree and he's working with a, a big firm now making six figures. The three day grade, folks, but he's a product of the program and all we do is boost our confidence and self esteem. This young lady, she graduated the University of Florida. So she was a product, you know, of the program and she benefited from, um, we do like a, a spring break trip to Atlanta every year, five days, four nights. And she benefited from one of the scholarships there. She um, graduated from University of Florida. She looked young, but she's so superior. What year you graduated from UL? 2016, so that's six years ago. So y'all don't do the math, but she right <laughs> now, she's um, working on a master's at Arizona State. Arizona State, so she also is a business owner. She also works with State Farm. So she makes all of the money, but she got a tough time getting, up, getting on time. <laughs> And she's skinny, but she's greeter than Mr. Jeffrey. <laughs> so, but, yeah, but she's good as far as helping you guys when you need help with tutoring and all that advanced mathematics stuff. Mr. Jeffrey don't destroy too many brain cells these days. So when you start talking about algebra two and all that, mm -mm, that's too much thinking. So I turn that over to her. Algebra on down. This club started in 2008 at Tenor Rock High School. So in 99, I started a program called Team Business Camp at Lake Ridge Center where Pal is at now. Risk was on the back of all of those shirts from 1999, but when I got to Tenorock, I said, man, we need a club, but it ain't gonna be TBC club, we call it Risk Club. And since 2008, we've been rocking with it, so we don't rock and made it through this COVID situation, and we still rising, and I'm still going stronger than ever. So we just came off of a phenomenal summer program, um, team business camp where we had about 50 youth um, coming every day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, we had about 30 um, of the K-5 through the Risk Kids Camp. So it's awesome. You know, each day, you know, like you said on the tape, 7 to 9 meeting, um, 9 to 10, we did a daily devotion. So those teams had to know Proverbs 22 and 6, Matthew 6, 9 through 13, the 23rd Psalm, Philippians 4 and 13. We also, you know, did Bible stories and all that. But guess what? They loved it. They looked forward to it each day, even with the reading. They got into reading because the only way to get better at reading is by reading. And those levels increase each week. Every Monday they had to write. They had to write a 300-word essay every week. Some of them didn't like it, but when they get to school, they're in the habit of writing so much, it's not even nothing. It doesn't even phase them because we train them job skills, life skills, budgeting skills, um, college tours, business tours, etc. cetera. Um, we did it. So like I tell people all the time, if you leave your kids with me, they're guaranteed for success, and that's with the help of the Lord. So, um, so it's a great program. Like I said, been running about 14 years. Um, Mr. Jeff been around for a long time. So a lot of people have worked with college and got program over the years. I worked with 21st Century, did tutoring with Boys and Girls Club. So you name the program, I probably worked around it, but I've always done my own stuff as well. And I worked a job in Catholic, drive the bus out there, I'm also Nino Black Crack Cake, so if you ever seen somebody out there talking about the crack cakes, I'm Nino. So I'm too black to be brown, so I'm Nino Black, not Nino Brown. But anyway, with Risk Club, everybody that signs up, you're going to get a free t-shirt. So everybody that's here tonight, everybody's going to be able to join for free, and you'll get a free t-shirt, you'll get all the sizes, you'll get a shirt, because I like you to look good when you go out. Our first trip, now we got the little kids, K-5, and then we got the, uh, the teams that are middle and high school. Now, most of the trips, the little kids, they're gonna be able to participate when we're doing the bowling, the skating, the horseback riding in the movies. But like for our first trip, they won't be able to go. We're going to CSC Key Beach, and that's gonna be on September the 24th. This is Saturday. So we'll leave from here at the Dream Center, 
Um, probably about 9, 9 a.m. We'll get off the exit, like 207, 206 down there in Sarasota. We'll eat at that Wendy's. Then we'll go to the beach, swim, have our good time. Then we come back. So it's easy parking here. That's why I like it. You got the baby powder sand, all of that. But um, the little kids won't go. So when we come in here meeting on Tuesday night, it can vary. So what we're going to be focusing on is financial literacy because a lot of us are illiterate when it comes to money. I'm illiterate. I'm a functional illiterate as far as with money because a lot of times you can't learn what you haven't been taught. So we didn't, we didn't grow up back then in the project. You know, I knew how to go sell a couple bottles, make a couple of cents, you know, and just hustle. But I didn't get that, that um, financial literacy piece down and I'm still learning it as I go. You know, so my thing is I want to make sure you guys got it and educated so y'all can be on retired by 25 and stuff like that. So I got a guy here, Chris Rogers, I don't want to tell if anybody, but he got family friendly affair. So I got a, a 10 year old daughter and stuff like that. So it's always, if you got younger ones, if you coming alone, you can bring them. So you can ride the bus or you can just drive and meet up with us. But every single time we're gonna have a fun time. So with Florida Classic, um, we're gonna go over there. It may be a cost, it may not be a cost. So I don't know as of yet. Then also for November, we're gonna do bowling. Now also with academic incentives, um, if you ate, uh, make straight A's, we have a swag hoodie. So if you see those hoodies up there, you make straight A's, you get a swag hoodie for free. And swag is basically students with awesome goals. If you get A's and B's, you get a swag t-shirt. Still a student with awesome goals. If you get C's, we're just gonna feed you a plate. We'll let you eat good and you know all of that kind of good stuff. But you need to get them grades up. So we wanna reward um, those excellent grades and hope that you get them up. December, one of the most exciting trips that we do is our swag leadership retreat. We used to call it fall retreat. It's in Umatilla, Florida. It's three days, three, um, two nights. It's like the Marietta camping. So you got cabins out there, you got a ropes course, you got two outdoor heated pools, you got an indoor gym. Um, each cabin sleeps about nine people. You got four bunk beds, one standalone bed, central air and heat in the rooms. Um, you got a shower, toilet, sink in the bathroom. You got a sink outside of the bathroom. Um, got paddle boats, canoes. Um, we have a, a talent show out there, a dance. So it's the ultimate experience. So I kind of came in contact with that. I used to do independent living skills classes for foster care youth starting in like 94. So they used to see me out there working in 96. We started going and say, hey, Mr. Jeffrey, anytime you want to come out here, you can bring a group out here for free as many as 100. So they just saw my work ethic. So um, we started bringing kids out there from Tenor Rock High School, and we'll have kids from all over the county. So it's a fun time. So I've had as many as 200 and something kids out there at one time. So one time I took two charter buses, I took two of my buses, and we had people from over there, West Westgate area. Um, we had some um, Gentleman's Quest from um, Plant City. So it was an awesome time. So um, also December, and we're gonna need some volunteers to kind of help out with some of these efforts. We also got Chocolate Santa. Chocolate Santa is gonna be coming to town right here at the Dream Center. So Chocolate Santa, he's probably about my color a little darker. And um, so it's, it's Chocolate Santa is magical. So what we do is free, free pictures for anybody in the neighborhood that wants to come out. We probably had over 100 kids that came out last year, kids and adults. It's a great experience. So not only do we do it in Lakeland, we also do it in Haines City. Haines City, they broke it out, they had bikes, toys, all kinds of stuff like that. And then we got also, we got a big millionaire in here tonight, Greg Rat, Rapper, that flips home. He's gonna bring Chocolate Santa to Barstow this year. So you want Chocolate Santa in the Haiti, all that? I know his number. I can get in contact with him. Um, so if you wanna bring him to your, your city, your town, um, your community center, church, your daycare, your school, your Christmas party, uh, don't bring Santa, he don't want to go to Black Rose and all that because they might get a little suspicious with Santa. So Santa there won't go 15 kids, 15 kids. It ain't a whole lot of trouble out there. So um, as we go through January, we'll still do the academic incentive dinners. 
as we kind of um, close out that first semester. We'll have the movies. Something. February, we're doing the, the HBCU jump off, horseback riding, um, a, a critical thing we got coming up in March. We do our spring break trip. We do our spring break trip five days, four nights in Atlanta. Last year, it was about $350. This year is about $400. Our bus alone almost is like double. Last year it was like $5,600. This year is about $10,000 for the charter bus because diesel gas has gone up. So with that trip, um, five days, four nights, we're going to leave on a Sunday this year. It's going to give us more um, college tours. So we look to do Spelman, Clark, Morehouse, Georgia Tech, um, University of Alabama. I got a nephew that's a product of, of, of the program. He's, a, um, he's the assistant director of player personnel right now at University of Alabama. So he was on the sideline this weekend, um, but he's a product of the program. He graduated from Georgia Tech. And, but he's living his best life right now at University of Alabama. He probably was at University of Connecticut for about two, three months as the, the director of um, recruiting, but Nick Saban gave him a call. So if Nick Saban calling you, everything else is trash. And so he's happy at University of Alabama. But we're also going to do Alabama State and Tuskegee. And on the back end, we're going to do Florida State and then one of the greatest institutions in the world, Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University, Man. also known as FAMU. Don't talk about sports right now, but um, FAMU. Because them other people, they ain't do so good neither. It's another school, a rival school, um, Bethany Koopman University that's in um, Daytona, where they enter to learn, depart to serve at Bethune Grill. Um, but anyway, back to the script. But with the Atlanta trip, um, it's a 500 word essay that's gonna be um, open again for us to do that. And we'll probably open that up in, probably in November, we'll open up the essays and they'll be due by December. We'll have all the final um, notices out. Last year we raised over $10,000 in donations off Cash App alone because people know, man, if you get on those college tours, it can change your trajectory. So last year we took about 50, 50 students, six adults. We stayed in Sandy Springs, right across the street from Perimeter Center Mall. Um, we we hiked up Stone Mountain, where we here, one point one mile up. We also went to um, we did Road to Mars train, went to the King Center, um, all of that. So once you put them on the bus, you don't have to say, oh, I wonder if my baby ate today. No, they didn't do it, they didn't eat too much. So, we ride the Martin train, we go downtown, they eat at Hard Rock. Um, they also um, we eat at This Is It, Soul Food, so they pretty much all you can eat, collard greens, sweet potato souffle, macaroni and cheese, muffins, chicken, the, the work. So it's very tasty. Yeah, super tasty. So they always eat good, I'm always feeding them, so you never have to worry about that. And, uh, but we'll have this essay come out, but we also, start taking payments for that trip starting in November, $80 a month, so by March, those $400 will be done. But if you get a scholarship, I don't babysit your money, I'll get that back to you with the weekend. So I'm thinking it'll be a large number of people that's trying to go, but if you got another group um, that want to kind of do that trip, it's okay. I know it's Fifth Street, y'all settle down. Y'all settle down, it's okay. Um, Gotta keep the head on the swivel. I got the bodyguard at the top there too. I went to Miami and I flew to South East. Blah, 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 blah. But all that does is just help boost the kid, self-esteem, and confidence. June, it'll be time again, before you know it, for Team Business Camp and Risk Kids Camp. So that's one of the most exciting times, 76 every day, Monday through Friday. That's Mr. Jeffrey. He care about us. He loves us. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Miss um, Kathy, Chris, is he ready? Well, while we're waiting on Chris, we're gonna try to go to our next clip. We need somebody computer savvy. You got it? You gotta pull up the next clip with service now. We gotta pay that. So listen up, listen up, ladies, gentlemen. We finna.